Okay, guys, we're going to be watching why DDG has beef with Playboy Mac. Let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. I'll be on none of that lame shit. I don't diss that shit. I don't speak on that shit or nothing. Don't get on your fucking Twitch and your chat with a platform trying to what? play my music. Like, it's weak or some shit, bro. Don't yeah. quit playing with me like that. Nigga talking about let's, let's run the ones. Over a TikTok clip, motherfucker. Damn, you know they clip farmer. They're just joking around. They're not really trying to like start anything. Like it's just it's the new meta right now. In big 2024, DDG has smoke with yet another content creator. This time is with the five star general and phase member Blackboy Max. Now this is not something I expected, but I'm not really surprised about uh. it for one reason. Both of these people are content creators who have their hands in two different parts of the music scene. DDG makes music for mid to high tier mainstream audiences, while mm. Max, who really doesn't take his own music too seriously, caters more to an underground audience, whether that be through reactions or certain events. I like Max's music because he's very creative. He just like literally just freestyles and just goes with the flow. You see what I'm saying? I feel like DDG, he tries to make music for the mainstream a little bit, just rap music. Um, and Max is more of a content creator. He reacts. He does he he does 3v3s on basketball. He raps. Like He's diversified in his content. I feel like DDG just does one thing. You see what I'm saying? So them crossing paths was bound to happen sooner or later. So let's get into how this whole thing started. Okay. I was in the middle of editing another video when I saw a clip on Twitter of DDG calling Max Soft and Deshae Frost chat. I didn't even know DDG watched other streamers outside of the handful of people that he rock with, but I guess. But if you don't know who Deshae Frost is, nowadays he's known for doing the craziest stuff on stream and not getting banned, mm. but I mainly know him as a YouTuber. Yo, homie Max Soft. You talking Wait, about- you're talking about uh why did he just say homie max soft Boy, max what? um black boy max why you just why you just why you just uh throw a shot of a uh, black boy he a Damn. Tell him throw the ones. Shortly after the shade would try to get to the bottom of this, playing investigator, calling Max to figure out what's the issue, and Max says that he has no issues. The uh fat the fat white boy Lacey too. I don't know what's I don't what? know what's going on, bro. I feel like DDG, I feel like he he got too many feelings. Maybe like DDG is probably an amazing guy, a good guy behind the scenes, but like I feel like he took it a little too seriously because like I think people need to know that face clan they don't they're not trying to embarrass you they're just trying to do it for the clip it's not hate or anything it's just entertainment you see what i'm saying and like if they're making fun of you or are doing stuff for the clip it's not like like they don't hate you in real life you see what i'm saying it's just it's just entertainment like i said before but no i just thought i thought y'all i don't know i thought y'all had or whatever yeah i don't know he beef him with a wall i don't know but All right. <laughs> he appreciates you for telling me. Nah, nah, it's good. I, I don't know what he's talking about, though. Right, I just making sure shit straight. I'm going to hit you, though, after yeah, I get off. I, I don't got no problems with that. All right, all right. I'm going to hit you. DDG then calls the Shay on stream to speak on why they're static between him and Max. Man, I just seen the clip. Him and that little uh, Caucasian man in the car laughing and shit when the nigga said, play DDG. Oh. I've seen the hella nice and Bro, why do everyone be clown? I'm not gonna lie, everyone do be clowning DDG a lot. A lot of people be clowning him, and like, like his music ain't bad. You see what I'm saying? His music ain't bad. It's some of it is good, some of it is okay. You see what I'm saying? Like, is it like, is it like top 100 hits, Billboard? No, for rap music, I don't think so. But like, he's he's gonna hit one in like the next couple of years. He's probably gonna hit a Billboard number one. You see what I'm saying? It just takes some time, bro. It just takes some time. Wait, what the f Oh, you I just don't like niggas. You said what? I said, oh, oh, there's a clip of some sh Just like. Yeah, bro, I ain't finna play with no streamers, bro. Be on that internet, but in person, y'all are friendly and shit. You wanna get online and laugh. I just don't like playing with me, bro. Yeah, nah. I understand. I, I understand DGG's point of view, but like, that's their job. You see what I'm saying? That's their job to make clips, bro. Even. <laughs> I know he doesn't like that like they do one thing on the internet and not the other it's just we we're acting for a job and i just i need people to understand that yeah. hey, nigga, you ain't had, you ain't had to say my name at all oh, he said something too nah he's just laughing like this shit funny trying to be a little internet bro. He ain't playing that and we in the mm. same city he oh, said man. he said he was high as he was like he was high he just said he was high as like man, i don't give a damn bro niggas don't play like that and I, and I met you in person. You don't play with it like that, laughing. He wants to be. What did he say? He's like, oh, he said, he said, he said, he want to talk. He said, he want to add, add to the call. 
I, it's just fresh from my, my mind right now, so I'll really talk to them later, but it's just like... No. Come on, DG, talk to him, bro. Like, Max is trying to be me. He's trying to, he's trying to be like, yo, let's talk, bro. Let's let's figure this out. Anybody's trying to play with them. I, I already dealt with this. They ain't finna play with me this year, bro. If it see me in person, we meet in person, everything's smooth, there should be a different type of respect level. This yeah. is internet. Mm -hmm. He already he said some weird shit before, but I ain't even when I seen him in person, I was like, man, I ain't think about that no more. I just let the shit slide or whatever. Cause he said something like, I ain't gonna lie, my girl still with no five DDG songs. Just some little internet. But he said he but said it's it slide. He, he said it before, but I'm like, no, I ain't even tripping on that. And I just seen a little <laughs> clip, and he said some little bullshit. And I'm like, hey, bro, I ain't finna let this. She talked crazy, bro. Like mm. the clip DDG is talking about was during the whole beef with Bruce when Max chimed in doing a reaction to I'm geeking and made a joke, which probably made his way back to DDG, who kept that in the back of his mind before they met. Mm. Down to the back of your hotel and name a few songs. I bet money she passing the test. I'm not gonna lie, she probably still fail. You feel me? She would just me being objective. I really don't have sides and I don't care. I don't know either of these niggas, you feel me? But she was still failed on no bullshit. In fact, the gun will probably make her fail more, like just the pressure she fell into. The clip that started all this was from an IRL stream with Max and Lacey. It's pretty self explanatory, so I'll let you see it. Play that new DDG. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, they gooning on him. They gooning on him. They're just like, nah. Oh, this is a crazy nigga. I can understand how this looks to DDG, but as most clips are, this is out of context, as Max says when he speaks to Deshae. With, with, with artists, what I realized being around artists and stuff like that, bro, like, people treat their music like they baby. You know what mm. I mean? Like, it's different mm. than, like, streams or, like, videos and stuff, but people treat their music like, like, baby, like... But the thing is, DDG, wasn't he a YouTuber, so shouldn't he kind of know the culture and, like, how they, they, the, like... So I feel like when they clowning him online, like, they ain't, they ain't clowning... I don't know. I feel like he should kind of know, but like, I, f I understand with DDG. Like, I see both sides to the aspect, but I feel like DDG should just like, he should just not even care, bro. Who cares, bro? Like, don't even like, just, just like it. Like, if you forget about it, no one really talks about it. You see what I'm saying? But if you, if you create a situation about it, everyone talks about it. It gets more into the news and it's just more ingrained into your brain. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. They baby. So it's like when people be, when he feels like, oh, whatever, like kind of like, like up especially since i met you in person like we was cool because i know you bro you mad cool and the same thing with him it's like he's like bro like what the f you know what i'm saying it's like how you gonna be cool in person and then laugh at the shit i've been working on for years you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying on, on some inter on, on the internet and shit, feel what i'm saying but you know this is just a seven seven second clip i don't know what was going on i don't know what was going on and shit like that so bro, and, but no. and that's cool bro but he gotta understand Brother, the world don't revolve around him. Like, yo, if you if you want to get treated as an artist and you want to be an artist, you got to get critiqued. Yo, bro, I'm sitting in this car. I'm highest. I'm reading the chat. I look over my man's side eye at me because I said, play that DDG. I said that unironically. The side eye at me is funny. I'm alive, my Not a fucking robot. And right after mm. that, right after this was said, what did I say? Yo, DDG not even bad. DDG got some good songs, though. And my Lacey said, you're right, though. You're right. Like, but he ain't see all that. He's judging off the clip and he getting butt hurt. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He doesn't have the full context of the situation. And that's why a lot of the social media stuff, like, they're not telling the full story. You see what I'm saying? They're only telling, like, a little bit of the story. Hey, 1 a.m. in the morning, just like, yo, just, just not 1 a.m., 1 p.m. Yo, bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to tell this, what he wants. I'm not here to beef with nobody. I don't care to do that. I give DDG and show this your love all the time. If he don't see this one little clip and get by her about it and hate niggas or whatever, then so be it. I don't give a Ooh. F no. I don't know what to tell him, bro. I genuinely don't know what to tell him. Coming on stream saying this is a pussy and saying my friends are like, that's weird, though. I don't like that shit. There's no unnecessary shit. No one was doing all that. He know this entertainment joke around and play. Why is he talking like that? You say? Yeah, that's weird though, bro. It is. It, it's a little weird. It's a little weird. I, I I would have to say that it's a little weird. And like I said before, and even Max said he knows that he's been part of this entertainment. He knows how they pull like they doing it. And I feel like I feel like DDG fans are people who are trying to get DDG worked up or something. But I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe DDG's having a hard day and he saw that clip and it just made it worse, right? And he's putting his anger out on Max. So the thing we got to realize is. 
is we don't know the full context when DDG is going through a hard time right now and like this is just making it worse. Um, I feel like they should just like see each other in person or something and just like talk it out if they want to do a basketball game or like wrestle or I don't know what what guys do play Call of Duty like I don't freaking know like play soccer like I don't know like I, just do something to get your anger out you see what I'm saying don't put any harm don't keep trashing each other online don't start no beef because it's gonna get more it's gonna get more in your, ingrained in your brain you see what I'm saying but that's weird I don't understand that it's not even on that I saw this love when I met him at your B and B. I dapped him up. You feel me, man to man? It's nothing like that. Fast forward a little bit, and the two will get into a call to discuss everything. It ain't even on like trolling shit at all, bro. I'm just tired of playing with me, bro. Like I met you in person. It shouldn't be no laughing about nothing dealing with me, bro. I don't laugh at your music and what you be doing. I don't diss you. I don't even speak on you, bro. bro like everything is is cool. And everything is, is is regular when you met me in person, right? I'm a regular, so it's like when I get online and I see giggling, I don't give mm. a if said oh this was cool afterwards, bro. Like it's like why the gotta play with me 24 seven? Yeah, I post dad content, like I post mm. Mm. family. Why the niggas still speaking on my music negatively? Like you don't have to speak on my shit at all. I don't because you put yourself online, you're always gonna get hate. Like, you see what I'm saying? You always will get hate. Especially with reaction content and all this other stuff. You're always going to get hate. You're always going to have people speaking on your name. You're always going to have people making fun of you. It's just part of the internet culture, bro. I have My Instagram gets hate. Do my YouTube get hate? My TikTok gets hate. Just all my platforms get hate, bro. It's just how it is. I don't give a f who listen to it. If you don't f with it, you ain't got to speak on it. Especially if you met me in person, bro. Like, it's just, it's just weird to me. Bro, it's as simple as a to play your music in chat. My man side eye me. He's clearly he's oh, oh, yo man. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yo man. I, I don't give Yo, hold on. Let me finish what I'm saying, bro. Yo, he side eye me. The way that looked at me was funny, bro. I said, yo, man, yo, I'm like, trying to laugh yo, bro, bro, some bro, 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 I know how I be I know how to be trolling with me, bro. Like y'all streamer been doing that shit. I think he's just I think DDG's taking it way too much to heart. And I understand, bro. Like, I don't know. I I understand DG's point of view, but it's still like I feel like he's just taking it away to heart. Like Max is just trying to explain the situation, trying to be a man, and he keeps cutting him off. Like he's up. You can clearly see that he's very upset. You see what I'm saying? For a year now, it's like it ain't it ain't no secret, bro. Like been trolling for a whole fucking year. It's like when gonna get off my dick about my music? If you don't fuck with it, then don't fuck with it. It's plain and simple. It's like especially a with a platform, bro. You knew you knew I was gonna see this. Shit. It's like. Nah, I'm keeping it a fuck, yo, bro, bro. Look, no bull. If you, bro, you know you trying to do this music, bro. You know how how much rappers get critiqued. Why are you still worried? I'm not, I'm, trying, yep. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to do. Shit. I'm already double platinum. It's just it ain't yo, even bro, about yo, that. Bro, it ain't. Right, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't a, I, it's nigga, not about, bro. Bro, it's not. Was, it's not about. It's not about. Oh, um, rappers get critiqued. I met you. Like it's different. Like if I haven't met you before. That's why I ain't trip on the last little thing when you talk about like just some little stream. So I but the thing, well, the thing with DG's point of view is like they ain't best friends, they ain't homies, like. Like they ain't seen each other. You only met him one time, so it's kind of like, uh, you guys are still acquaintances. Like you ain't really homies. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. Let it slide. I'm like, I never met this. You know, just on some internet. It's cool. After I met you, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know, I'm just regular. Boom, and then I see this little clip. I'm like, all right, see, like still on some little internet, shit, bro. That's weird to me. I don't care what nobody say. That's the say you know that's weird, bro. Mm. Like Max, you get on stream and you make music and you do it for you just do it to do it, bro. Like I'm really spending money on this. Shit. I'm really sitting in the studio trying to whether they like it or not. It's like just really putting their time and effort into this shit. nigga to downplay it that I met not saying we like friends or no shit, but it should just be a different respect level bro to have more respect for me anyway it's like we coming from the same world and i'm trying to cross over if you was trying to get into acting or comedy i wouldn't be dissing you saying you not funny you can't act i'll be pushing for you to win like it's, mm. it's just it's just weird okay i see ddg's point of view a little bit 
I, I see it. I see his point of view, but I still think he's taking a little too too deep, too deep, too deep. You see what I'm saying? But I I agree with some of his what he's saying. I agree. I agree. You see, you should always be supporting and stuff. But like I said before, they ain't homies though. They ain't, if he was his friend and he was dissing him and like they were actually good friends. Okay, that's a different story. But they just acquaintances. I know they met in real life and he wants them to support him and stuff. But I still think like they need more bonding to actually do that. I don't know. I don't know. That's just me though. When you try to try me. Because I be really looking out for niggas. I really be rooting for niggas, bro. That shit ain't cool. You know that shit ain't cool. You get what you coming from on the whole, this is my craft. I want people to take me serious, not disrespect you. But again, you are sitting here saying I called your shit. I never did that. Now, I know you're sitting here saying, yo, you laughing is implying that. Yo, bro, I'm literally laughing because I am smashed this and my man's made a funny face at me. When you did that, I don't know what else to tell you. I can't. Don't. And if you're not willing to watch the rest of the clip, I don't know what to tell you on that either. Mm. Yo, bro, you don't know the amount of time I'm, I'm reacting to your shit. I'm like, DDT, not that bad. Y'all need to be about it. But of course you don't see that. Why? Because these clip a, takers, he, hold on. Yeah, these clip takers, bro, they bring it to a whole nother level. They bring the hate up. You see, when they bring the hate up, they're trying to, they're trying to twist stuff. He's right. He's right, though. He's right. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go hold ahead, on. go ahead, go ahead. Because these clip pages like to post the negative shit. Yo, these no, I literally be supporting you, bro, and they be hating, but that's just how they are, and you can't, at the end of the day, you gotta do what you're gonna do, and I hope you do that, and I hope you go crazy, because I'm not no hate. This is all entertainment at the mm. end of the day, and I hope you go stupid. I don't got no hate for no That's true. When you're in the entertainment world, you shouldn't have hate for anyone. You shouldn't, like, be hate. Like, that is, that is, he is speaking the truth. I'm not gonna lie. He is actually speaking the truth. In the entertainment world, you should always have love for everyone. If you're being critical on someone about information, like that's cool you see what i'm saying to me but like if you meet them in real life they're cool like you always could say like i always say they might be playing a part you see what i'm saying they might be acting but when you meet them in real life they're cool then you guys are homies in real life you see what i'm saying and if you're critiquing a video and you meet them you're actually homies and you actually know them and you can actually put your input because you know them then that's good you see what i'm saying i don't like i said before like max i don't have no hate for anyone all the information that I'm doing, all the information that Max is doing, we're just critiquing or, or just having fun and vibing. Like we ain't, it's not real hate. It's not real hate, bro. It, it isn't. I'm just focused on my own. But at the end of the day, bro, that little clip, bro, it's not no hate. I was not trying to spread no hate on music. I don't have time to do that. That's childish and immature. I'm not gonna be here, sit here, be negative, or be on no catch for trying to get jokes for the stream. I don't want none of that. Like that's just bad blood, bro. So I'm not here to do that. But what I'm sitting here telling you when you see a clip like this, it's because I know, hey, bro, that's literally just how I am. I just be trolling. I be having fun. I would never purposely try to down your career or hope you don't make it or nothing like that. So I'm not on that. But, bro, I'm not going to sit here and change who I am and not joke and not do. But just know if it's something, when it's something like this, no one's hating on you. No one's trying to make you look crazy or make you look like you less than or you haven't been doing this, bro. It's not that. It's nothing like that. But that's why I don't understand why you're taking it like that. Mm. I just took it a certain way because I feel like you think it's a trend to laugh at my shit, bro. Like, it's it's not cool. And it's not really. I haven't really seen any DDG chips of people laughing. I feel like... I feel like the so this is what the algorithm does. It feeds you clips that it knows you that you're gonna watch. So it knows ZDG is gonna watch his own clip about him, them like making trolling him or saying his music's bad. But you gotta realize I haven't really heard anyone say that. You see what I'm saying? Like I haven't heard people keep trolling him to this day. It's not in my algorithm, you see what I'm saying? And I don't see it in the mainstream. I haven't really seen any long-term videos about it. It's been like a year, it's eight months. Like no one's really talking about it. I don't know. I feel like He's like, he's getting deceived by the internet, and I think he's getting deceived by the algorithm. Niggas really listen to my sh they know my sh hard, but niggas gonna give me the hardest criticism because I come from the YouTube shit or I beef with it, do all this other shit. Bro, listen, nobody can even walk two miles in my shoes doing this music. Bro, mm -hmm. this sh not easy at all. So I just, I just want a different type of respect level with my music from and and give me like a fair ear that you would give another that's all i'm asking for bro all that laughing is i know it's clips and all that shit, but that still get taken a certain way y'all got an influence if you laugh at my shit, you gonna encourage that 12 year old to laugh at my shit. that is true i see that that points in that okay okay that that is true that is true he's he's not he's not lying so like he's basically saying if if you laugh at it 
your audience, a 12 year old, 13, 14, 16, any of these ages groups think I'm lame. You see what I'm saying? And it deters them from my music. You see what I'm saying? And then it becomes a trend and it becomes worse and worse. I understand that. I understand that. But you shouldn't. The thing is, you shouldn't have people that are just like they're, they're called. They're called group hoppers. Basically, they go from streamer to streamer to who's trending, who's the most viral, who's who's like vibing at the time. They just only follow what's the best thing, what who's most the most popular. You don't want that as a fan base. You want people that are loyal. And the more loyals you have, like Aiden loyals, you see what I'm saying? They'll die for Aiden. You see what I'm saying? That's those are the that's the community that you want. I think DDG needs to understand that. Maybe he already does. Maybe he already does. But I feel like he just needs to understand that more. You see what I'm saying? Or you gonna encourage that 15 year old to not take my shit seriously, bro? Like I really put his time and effort into this. Shit. I just, just won't respect. That's all it is, bro. I understand what both sides are coming mm. from, but DDG, you can't be out here worrying about hate on top yep. of begging people to respect your music these internet niggas are ruthless they do yep. not care about your feelings bro the same day which was yesterday blackboy max would go on his own stream to address the situation basically doubling down what he said but this time he would equip more animations why this nigga's tight that's why he called me soft all of this shit because niggas giggled when lacy side eyed me when someone said play ddg <laughs> he's not lying though I be trying to tell y'all niggas. I don't know why niggas get so mad easily at me. I don't know what it be, but I don't care to be or talk to none of you niggas. Now, after this happened, me and me and DDG got on call with the Shay. It was all three of us and the shipping put down. So it's all past. It's not no beef. There's none. Bro, y'all know I'm not trying to be on that negative shit. But yo, bro, I'm going to keep it all the way a stack. I don't... I didn't see this shit about LA, all this weird shit. You're telling me you seen a TikTok clip, bro, of a nigga not liking your music, potentially, which really, that wasn't even what it was, because you know if you finish the clip, I literally said this nigga got decent songs. You see that, and that, you're going to say, we in the same city? You gonna <laughs> He's not lying. He's not lying. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, they, they twist things. Them clippers, bro. They savages. They savage. They're just trying to get the most clicks. They do not care about your mental. They do not care about you. They ruthless. I'm going to say you're going to slap Lacey. Come on, bro. I, yo, I, I'm telling y'all, niggas really be doing too much. And it's good now, but I did not see this, though. This shit, that's lame as fuck. Nigga talking about let's, let's run the ones. Over a TikTok clip, motherfucker. Over a TikTok clip. Hey, that would be good content running the ones on Call of Duty 1v1 on basketball, 1v1 on soccer, 1v1 on boxing. I, I would want to, I would love to see that. That would be kind of cool. I did not see none of that. Wait, what? Yo, that's the softest shit in the world. Yo, bro, this awesome transparent keeping it a buck shit because clearly niggas around you not keeping it real. Yo, bro, I said this on the call as well. You can go in the shape of uh, vibe for anyone that want to see it. You can go in the vibe, the whole combo there. It was cool. We chalked it up because, bro, DDG is a pioneer. He did a lot of this on his YouTube shit. I respect DDG. But at the end of the day, in terms of this music shit, my nigga, if a nigga don't like your music and you feed into it, what happens every time? Niggas keep eating that nigga alive. Exactly. He's right. He's right. Don't let the trolls get to you. If you are, if you respond to it once, they're like, oh, we got DDG to respond. Shoot. You see what I'm saying? And then it's game over. They're like, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep pressing him, pressing him until he responds again. And they got him again. They got him. It's over. GG's. Niggas call a whole lot of red ass and what happened? Now nah, niggas love it. Act like it's the greatest album of all time. Yep. Yo, bro, as a rapper, you got to make your craft. You got to believe in your craft and you got to let that bitch hang, nigga. Exactly. Come on, bro. We as streamers, we seen here. You know we joke. You calling us internet niggas. You're a, bro, the nigga started off as a vlogger. Bro, you know the internet. You're an internet nigga as well. So you know how this shit get. He's literally, he's basically saying my point, bro. He's literally saying it, bro. Like, we're on the same wavelength. On stream, we having fun. Why are you saying you're going to fight niggas, slap niggas? Bro, it's never that serious, bro. But I will never, ever, ever, ever not share my real opinion and what I think with y'all niggas. If I don't like a song, that motherfucking trash. That's how I feel. If I like a song, 
I'm gonna say it's good. If I feel this way about a nigga, I'm gonna say it. Now I've seen the same comments every time DDG has issues with someone's opinion on his music. Some say that he needs a quick buzz or it's a one-sided PR stunt to help his rollout for a new song. I personally don't think this is a PR stunt or anything. Throughout the years, DDG has been very consistent in how he reacts to people he thinks is trolling him or downplaying his craft. We've seen this with Annoying TV, Bruce, Your Rage at some point, and now Plague Boy Max. The nigga takes his craft very seriously, so anything he thinks is a subliminal shot or hating, he's gonna step to you and maybe even try to jump you. I'll say what I always say in these situations, bro. Not everyone is gonna like you or your art, no matter who you are or what it is. You just gotta embrace it just like how you embrace people calling you a YouTube rapper. You have gold and platinum records as recent as this year, so I understand why you have to talk your shit but it really don't be worth it half the time. As for Max, keep the shit pushing, but be mindful of how things look, bro. Mm. People are gonna take stuff out of context and yep. they post clips like this all the time, and you know you have a big influence, just like DDG said. So just be mindful of that, bro. He's not wrong. He he actually isn't wrong. He's actually making a, a, a like an amazing point. You don't see what I'm saying, but like, from the point of view, if you guys are grinding, you guys are getting your way up there, don't let these trolls get to you. If someone makes fun of you, you blow up. Just be like, I blew up. You see what I'm saying? That's good. Don't take, don't, Always take the negative side. You see a negative comment, who cares? You know how many people in my comment section on, on this channel say quit? You know how many people? Every single day, I get a I get a comment. You should quit. Your channel's booty, bro, but I keep every single day. That's why I got, look, you see this? You see this? This is from one of my other channels. You know how many times they told me to quit? Do you know how many times they said, you're worthless, you shouldn't do this, your content's booty? Like, you ain't nobody. Get a real job. Do you know how many people have said that to me? I wouldn't have this if I listened to them. You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't be successful if I listened to them. So, DDG or anyone watching this message, just keep going, bro. Ignore them. Ignore them. You see what I'm saying? If you're grinding content, ignore them, bro. It ain't really that deep, man. I just have to explain this whole situation. In the title, don't get too caught up in the title. We gonna call it beef or whatever. It's not really beef beef, but it was real static. Like, it was real static. We know how DDG gets about his music. But um, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation in the comments, man. That's all I gotta say. I had to stop the last video. It was, it was a solo naughty video, so just yeah. get ready for that one. I was in the process of actually editing that thing, and I just saw this whole thing. I'm like, let me just make a quick video for y'all and just give, give y'all a quick little rundown or anything, whatever. But that's all I gotta say about this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this situation. It's Fargo, and I'm out, man. Okay, guys. Shout out to JBM Fargo. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe to him and give him By a like. Literal... Please get subscribe to him and okay, give I'm him a like. Ahead. Sorry, sorry. Um, thank you so much, bro. You've actually have been killing it, bro. You've been killing on these videos. I appreciate you. Appreciate the love, but guys, if you guys have not like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Please do that as well for me. And yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace, peace, peace.